What up, man? It's your boy. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. You know the freaking vibes, okay? Now hit that notification bell. Hell no! Yo, yo, what up, man? It's your boy, since this is Suicide Ace 29, back with another video, alright, man? So, uh, yeah, uh, smash that like button, or dislike button when you come in. It's all depending on if you like the content or not. With that being said, by the end of the video, you might change your mind. You heard me? Woo! Let's get it popping. Okay, so, uh, shout out to Vlad TV. That's where I got the picture from. And, uh, shout out to, uh, CB CBSNews.com, where I got this article from. Let's get it popping. Okay, so New York lawmakers passed anti chokehold bill name after Eric Garner. And for the ones who know, you know about what, four, five, six years ago, Eric Garner was choked outside of a store for being accused of stealing cigars or something like that. Then all the officers, you know, whatever, whatever, they jumped on him, all that bull crap. You know the vibes. And then the people who filmed it, I guess, you know, they got in trouble too. You know how they do the bullshit. Anyway, let's read the article real quick. The New York State Assembly on Monday passed Eric Garner anti choke act. The act passed both House of the New York State Legislature, Legislature and Governor Andrew Cuomo has indicated he will sign, sign it into law. Um, named for Eric Garner, who was killed in 2014 after being placed in chokehold by an NYPD officer. The bill criminalize, criminalizes the use of chokeholds that result in injury or death. The use of chokeholds by the NYPD has already been banned. In 1993 so if it's been banned in 1993 why are they still using it exactly <laughs> almost six years ago we heard Eric Garner tell police I can't breathe as he was put into a chokehold by NYPD officer assembly assembly mem member Walter T Mosley the sponsor of the bill said in a statement Monday his words now speak from the grave as we deal with the police killing of George Floyd under the nearly identical circumstances um the bill would would make it so that a police officer who injures a kill or kills somebody through the use through the use of a chokehold or similar restraint can be charged with a class C felony, punishable by up to 15 years in prison. Um, I have worked with many assembly colleagues to re to reform our state broken criminal justice system. Holding a law enforcement officer accountable for their actions is a necessary part of that. Speaker Carl uh, Heasty said. The NYPD ban on chokeholds was not enough to protect Eric Garner and is not and is not enough today. This legislation will put an end to the practice across the state. According to the statement released by New York State Assembly 996, I mean, 996 people have reported being put in chokeholds by NYPD officers since Garner's death. All right. So uh, that's the end of that article right there. Y'all let me know how uh, I think this they should have been did this. Uh, you know, sometimes they say better late than never. I don't know if that's a good thing to say at this point, but uh, progress is progress, but I'm not happy yet because it's a long way to go. Okay, it's a long way to go. Uh, this needs to happen in every freaking state everywhere. So it's, it's a long way to go. Do not get happy about one state saying they're going to do it and then, then the rest of the states ain't going to do it because you still will have the same problems. And then you got the cops. They need to start punishing the cops who actually do it. Even though it's against the law, they still do it. They can't just be getting desk duties and suspended for a week. No. You know the goddamn law and you break it. You need to get punished like the other people who break it. That's not uh, signed up to be part of the law. Okay? And that's my take on it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. How you feel about it. Um, Do you think... It, does, it suffi does it suffice for you? Are you... uh? You cool with this implement? Cause you know a lot of people still getting choked out to this day. So they don't. They said it was banned in what, like 1993, and they still doing it, and cops still not. So it's the whole system abroad. It's everybody. It's the people in charge. It's the people people who charge. Those people in charge. Because if they, if it was banned in NYPD since 1993, how come the cops who still doing it? They not really getting charged. If it's already banned, then why they not getting fired and without pay? So it's the people that's over them too. It's 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 so they've been breaking the law since 1993. Everybody, 
They've been breaking the law since 1993. NYPD has been breaking the law. They've been putting people in chokeholds for a very long time. Since 1993, it says it was banned, and they still do it. Hmm. That's something to think about, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. Uh, uh, is it better late than never? Or do you want more done? Uh, how do you feel about this? Let me know, man. Uh, hit me in the comment section, man. Let me know what you feel about this uh, uh, bill almost being passed. They, uh, the, the mayor, what is his name? Uh, Governor or the mayor, Kumo, say he's going to do it. So New York State is going to pass the anti-chokehold. Uh, Eric Garner, Eric, anti-chokehold. So tell me what you think about that. Um, I see y'all next video. Like I said, man, um, they've been breaking the law since 1993. <laughs> That's wild. That's wild right there. Anyway, uh, like the video, share the video, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about this, man. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the PayPal. Hit the um, notification bell. Hit the uh, cash up if you can. Uh, share the video also. And I'm out of here. I'll see y'all next video. Peace. It's the pros. People, people, people.